Police say that the shooting happened around 1230 this morning and the victim was taken to a hospital and was listed in critical condition. We believe that he was ambushed. A man making an early morning food delivery attacked in the 600 block of Chestnut Hill Avenue. We found a, a vehicle with the door open, the vehicle was running, and then on the sidewalk we found an adult male who we later found to be 39 years old, suffering from a gunshot wound to his head. Police say someone lured him to this house. We later learned that the house that he was supposedly delivering to was vacant. So we do believe in this case that someone called an order placed an order to that location, and it was literally to get him there to basically attack him. Um, we're not sure if the victim in this case was robbed, but we know he was shot. This past Saturday, three people killed in Baltimore. A 28-year-old man found in the 3800 block of Brooklyn Avenue stabbed in the neck and chest. Gunfire in the 2500 block of West Lexington Street. Police located a woman and a man, both suffering gunshot wounds. The woman shot in the head, she died. And in the 100 block of Payson Street, two more people found shot. One of the victims died. Two others were located at a nearby hospital with non-life-threatening injuries. Police say the city has had 222 homicides so far this year, as compared to 239 the same time last year, and 486 non-fatal shootings compared to 557 the same time last year. At this point, we believe at least at least two uh, individuals are responsible for this incident. The Waverly food delivery driver worked for a pizza restaurant not far from where he was shot. Well, there's evidence that would suggest that there was more than one person involved with this, more than one suspect. Um, I can't give the details for, for reason of case sensitivity, um, but we do believe it was more than one suspect. Um, he was approached as he was getting out of his vehicle. And while police believe that at least two suspects were involved, they don't have much more information, and they're hoping that they can get the public's help in trying to solve this crime and the others that happened over the Labor Day holiday. Reporting from Waverly, Barry Sims, WBAL-TV 11 News.